It doesn't show me my stats. How much am I hurting myself for? <laughs> Bro, please. Let's definitely get a refresh here. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of health gained. Plus, I mean, you know. Howdy, yo, Peglin News. Clipshots here back with another Peglin suggest slash build sort of thing of a bopper that I don't really know what to say. This one's from Rutu, and I did change it a little bit. But um, basically, this is the vampire build. I was really excited to do this, and one of the main reasons is because guess what? I recently read a or listened to an audiobook that surrounded a vampire. And so I was really excited, really excited to do this. So, wow, I cannot believe I completely missed the, the crit. Literally the one tile that I could absolutely definitely hit. I absolutely definitely missed. That's a sob story. But anyways, we're rocking the um, Infernal Ingot, the Mental Mantle, and the Glorious Suffering. I thought that was going to be really cool. Um, I was tempted to add some other things to it, but I think this works out just beautifully so i'm gonna go and just stick with it and go from there that being said i will be trying to do some, some crazy things here a little bit um there's definitely certain things that we need to figure out that's how to hit that refresh how to hit one of these refreshes there we go that's a little bit of refresh action finally took us a minute to do but hey we got it there's a crit and a lot of damage beautiful Alrighty, I'm excited guys. I'm excited. I think this is pretty thematically good um, That being said definitely gonna go for a fight down here We need to level up our orbs. So I think we can actually do this little route here down at the bottom I think we'll go left to start us off and hopefully we can get well Hopefully I can get a little bit of extra coinage I was hoping to get at least like two more coins there, but hey one coin is good enough Let's get that bomb and double bomb action beautiful that's all I really cared about the most because uh, well, double bomb was going to give me quite a bit there. Okay, that was not exactly what I was hoping for. That's okay. Anyways, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys are not having a fantastic day, hopefully it turns around for you. If you guys haven't had something to drink yet, a little bit of uh, water, something to stay hydrated, I highly recommend it. Can't recommend it enough. That was beautiful. I like it. Uh, let's see. Let's go for this little number in action down there. Because that works. Not exactly what I had in mind, but hey, it works. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. And let's keep rocking and rolling. Let's get this um, item here. I'm going to go and just skim off that real quick. Oh. Oh. It's always a little bit scary. Always a little bit. Um, navigation inflation. Perfect. So if you guys don't know, um, I did take away the... Uh, um, Peglin intuition because I thought that the class things were actually really smart to get rid of someone left a comment on that And I can't remember who it was exactly but thank you so much because you had a very valid point there If we we're doing a class we wouldn't have a different classes, etc, etc, right? We would have a different classes abilities. So I really like that uh, Direction here doesn't matter because they're both elite fights. So I'm down for either or Alrighty, this should be interesting. Um I think Glorious Suffering really works with this build. That's actually the reason why I took it. Um, I was thinking about not taking it, but I looked at it and thought about it and I was like, nah, this 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 goes really good. I don't know, man. I like this. So I took it. <laughs> That's a spoiler alert. I took it, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways. Anyways, that's some good damage. Not too bad. Um, I think we can do a refresh here. This is a lot of self damage. I'm a little bit worried about that self damage. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's definitely get that crit. Crits are going to help us deal actu actually deal damage. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit worried. This is getting a little bit worrisome. Um, I don't know if this will be that great or uh, doable or what, but um, hey, you know what? We're going to try it out and see what we can do. We will do this orb because this orb actually has a chance to give us health, which it did. Beautiful. And now we can go here. Magnificent. Okay. This is definitely one of those builds where I feel like it could be pretty challenging to uh, to actually succeed with, but I like it. That's one of the reasons why I like it so much is because because of the challenge. I do like the challenge. And there we go, weaponized envy. I was waiting and hoping that I'd get that. I actually considered adding that to the build, but I thought, nah, you know what would be better is if I started off really like minimalistic, you know, very few things change, um, and then work my way up to it. So obviously with this sort of build, we're kind of just emulating what it would be like to have a, um, to have a starting item of some sort, you know? So that's kind of what we're going for here is emulation. All right, let's go ahead and start to, um, I think we're going to start to upgrade these guys. No, actually we'll do the eye circles first. And the reason why is because we actually need to make sure that we have uh, damage enough 
that we're okay. No. I don't know if that messes us up. It doesn't. Good. I was scared. This might mess us up, though. I'm not, I'm not going to ruin it. Yes. Oof. Oof. Beautiful. Wall chicken. I love it. Let's go left and get another item. This is really nice. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to, I don't have to think about relics. It's just giving me... It's giving me health. It's like, oh, you want a bunch of health? I got you, homie. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll take it. I'll take all the health in the world. <laughs> My goodness. That's actually fantastic. Alrighty. Well, I didn't really want to get the bomb just yet, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. We can do actually a lot of damage with this. I'm going to go for this back guy because I think we can... I think we can get him. I think we can get him, guys. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was actually really good. Let's go here because uh, we kind of need to like kind of work on getting that refresh. It didn't work. Can't confirm it did not work. Um, that's probably a no-go, but I'll do it anyways because, well, it'll be fine. Maybe. Maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Good, good, good. Lots of health. Okay, beautiful. Okay, that's not exactly what I was expecting, but that's okay. Here we go. Refresh. Alrighty, and now we can uh, level up one of these guys now. That's gonna be really good. They're, they're gonna be really good to level up I'm not worried about getting a bunch of relics. I don't think we need a bunch of relics per se uh, We just got to be careful with what we're doing exactly because obviously in a build like this Things a lot of things can, can go wrong and that's not what I wanted to happen at all. That was a sob story actually um, This will be good damage though but Yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about this build. Do you guys like this sort of thing? Are you guys liking the like the theory crafting build sort of videos? I don't know about you, but I, I like that idea of like coming up with ideas for for videos and whatnot. Um, you know, for the uh for classes for the game. I've kind of always liked this sort of thing. And it's like, you know, we should have this like limit of okay, you can only do like really thematic things and really important things. I have turtles gonna be fantastic because we have <laughs> we're so limited already. So I have turtle would be great. And I think I'm gonna go for pocket sand. I feel like pocket sand is a little bit more fitting. So we're gonna go for that instead um, of anything else. And let's see what we got. This guy can't be blinded, so we're not gonna worry about that. Let's see if we can get a little bit of damage in. Okay, a little bit of damage here and there, you know? It's gonna be nice. Oh, okay, oof. I was like, there's no way we don't get a crit there. Alrighty, crit here doesn't matter, but we do wanna try to get a refresh if at all possible. No refresh, that's okay. Um, I think I'll skip this just so that I can try to have a clean one. Okay, well, that's... Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna take the self damage here. And then uh, we'll kind of work our way around. Oh, nice. That was a good hit. Right in there. Not as much as, as I was hoping to do, but that's okay. We can totally launch this guy. Wait, it doesn't show me my stats. How much am I hurting myself for? <laughs> Bro, please. That's actually really weird. Never seen that happen before, but that's totally fine. Um, we are starting off with max HP. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and just level these up. Max level. Max it out. Huh. Um. Honestly, I don't like any of these. <laughs> Ooh, do, do we like any of these? Um, so I think definitely Haglin Sagittal is a no-go. Because first of all, all of our orbs are max level, and we don't really want any other orbs per se. There, that being said, there's nothing against the other orbs. I just don't really want them. That being said, Electro Pegnant is pretty good. Um, I think we have the damage to support the Matroshka shell. And also, we have some items that really work well with it. However, that being said, I don't really per se want to do that. Water Skull Ultimate Greed actually doesn't do anything. Because if you get twice as many coins to start off with, but everything costs twice as much, then it is all the same. So... The, it, that really boils us down to Electro Pagnant or Matroshka Shell. And uh, I'm kind of leaning towards Matroshka Shell. I'll be 100% honest. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Matroshka Shell. It's a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. And I'm just going to hope that I can get some damage along the way and make it all pan out. That is something, if you guys don't know, damage is like 100% the thing that will give you... Uh, oh, this is going to be unfortunate. It is 100% the thing that will give you... Uh, um win more wins than anything else in the game and i found that out from many many moons of playing uh uh crucible so let me tell you let me tell you that is a thing that is horrible that is atrocities of war it's a war crime 
That was unfortunate. That's okay. Let's let's try to get like a double action here. There we go. A little crit action with a little something else. A little something, something else. This works out really nicely though because uh, I also heal um, as I hit pegs via stealing health from the enemies. So yeah, I think we go to the right because the right does have an elite fight and also the shops. So it's a 50-50 of getting something that I want. Plus a couple question marks and good spots. So like right now, for example, if I can, I'll definitely go deep left and get this guy. Beautiful complex claw. Thank you. That's an extra item. So that kind of just panned out perfectly. If we can, we're going to go to the right. Yeah, there you go. Because we only have enough for one relic anyways. And so I'm not really, I don't really care that much as to which relic I get per se. But that being said, I'm going to try my best to get as much as I can. That was fantastic. You got rid of most of the range guys. Let's definitely go after the last range guy there and see what we can do. Um, okay, well, not exactly the most amazing. I'm still going to go for that refresh. I think the refresh was important to grab. So grab, grab a little refresh there, a little refresh action. Um, we can actually get health off this now like this because even if we have negative like four damage Every everything we get here will actually be beneficial to us. So I think it totally pans out This is unfortunate we didn't get a crit, but we still hit both of them. So it's not like it's that big of a deal Let's definitely get a refresh here. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of health gained plus. I mean, you know Everything's good. Everything's good. Don't even worry about it 50. Yeah, we got him toast Coastal Reno Cappuccino. That was amazing. Yeah, so this build was a little bit sketchy to start us off. Um, I think we're starting to get into like a slightly better spot now. This is interesting. I would love to get the Criticris, but I think the best bet is definitely the Lucky Penny because it gives me more opportunity to possibly get health. Whereas the Criticris doesn't really do that for us as much. Sorry, damage. Damage. Not health, but damage. I said health, right? I don't know what I said. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you anymore. I'm losing my mind. Uh, let's try to get those refreshes down here because they're going to be a little bit tricky to snag. Wow. We got a bomb. That was interesting. That was really interesting, actually. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to kind of launch it. We're going to have to kind of uh, throw it to the fan, throw it to the wall and see what we can see what sticks. There we go. That was that was a tricky one. It was, it was difficult to grab. That was also very unfortunate, but hey, it worked out. Worked out at the end, right? That's all that really matters is it works out at the end. Anyways, guys, so far today, my day has been going pretty good. Not too bad at all. I think we're going to remove... Okay, we have to remove an orb. Unfortunately, we have to. What do we remove? 50-50? To be fair, these probably aren't doing as much as they could be, should be. So let's go and remove one of those guys. And uh, we're subduing our vampiric powers slightly. That's okay. That is a all right. A okay. Nice. That was good. And do it again. Round two. Nope. Okay. Well, I still did pretty good. Let's try to get that little number and dance. Beautiful. A little bit of, little bit of something, something. You know, kind of works out. We gotta be a little bit more careful launching this orb because obviously we are losing health and it's not exactly the most pleasant, amazing thing in the world. But hey, so far we sell full HP and everything's good. Um, yeah, we wanna go the hard right. If I can though, I wanna go left here first. See if I get an extra item. Man, oh man, I really do like, uh, I do like vampire builds. I do like all this, all this stuff. I actually recently listened to a, a vampire themed book and that's actually why i was so excited to do something like this is because because of that so i'm glad rutu um recommended this to us because like i said this is this is fun this is cool <laughs> this is a cool little thing wow one hp one hp what a sob story i'll put him out of his misery there you go all righty if we can we're gonna go right here bing bong beautiful if you guys are enjoying this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, yeah, it helps me out a bunch. And not only does it help me out a bunch, but if you guys like this kind of content, liking the video um, helps you get more content of this nature, as well as subscribing to the channel, because, you know, obviously you'll you'll be getting my videos. So <laughs> I, don't know if, uh, I don't know if that's interesting to you, but if it is, consider subscribing. That being said, um, going back to my day. So far today, I really haven't done a whole heck of a lot. I've actually just kind of, um, I've kind of been slow today. Today, I really wanted to stay in bed. 
I think I was in a bad cycle for when I for when I woke up because man oh man I was I was there in bed and I was like oh I'm so tired I was like oh bed it sounds wonderful bed would be amazing and I absolutely was was highly considering staying in bed and just not not doing anything I was highly considering it I was like maybe I won't even maybe I won't even make a video maybe I won't even get up go to the gym do any any of the things I need to do want to do I'm just gonna like stay in bed but then I realize <laughs> I want to do those things I want to I want to get here and you know get in front of the mic and just hang out with you guys a little bit um this is kind of my way of hanging out I have like a kind of low tolerance for actually hanging out with people and you know being uh talking to people so you know if you guys have ever wondered ever been curious about stuff like that well you know why Ooh, this is interesting I wonder if this works. I'm actually really tempted. Let's see. I want to see if this works with, um, no, yes. I want to see if this works with the Nasrabatu. Self damage. I would consider that self damage. I don't know if it works though. I'm really interested. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I think I'll, I'll think I'll even slow the game down when I go to hit the Nasrabatu and see, just like g really genuinely see if, uh, if I can, if I can do it or not. Okay, so let's see. We have 15. Wait, am I going? Okay, yeah, we're going slow. It's been the same speed now. Actually, no, it always did. Okay, so we are, we're going to lose 15 HP. Um, we're at 126 right now, so 15 would be like 111 or so. So let's just see. We're going to kind of just yeet it off. I didn't see before I got health. I'll have to look in the replay. When I say replay, I mean, you know, post. So we'll see. Anyways interesting to say 20 hp so that'd be 120 let's let's see slow it down oh i lost yeah i lost half that's awesome that is awesome yeah so you lose you lose half that's super rad actually um obviously not that rad for this build specifically because we are kind of working to our strengths as much as possible and strengths means not exactly that so you know interesting but not too bad Honestly, I kind of feel like this boss should be reworked a little bit. I feel like I feel like they they're not living up to their potential, you know. I feel like they could have a lot more potential going on here. Also, the Nasrabatu getting um more damage every time it's thrown actually kind of works in our favor this time around. We can actually keep throwing it because now we have the the gardener's glove which lets us take half that. So, it actually kind of works out really nicely. And uh, I mean, I I would definitely say it's worth kind of using. That being said, we are absolutely doing consuming child stuff. However, I think we only have one crit on the board, right? I mean, one refresh, or do we have two refreshes? I don't really know. But four damage, or presumably three times. Um, I think the gift that keeps on giving is probably still going to give us more damage because this is for per peg, right? But, but, you know, this one's every peg. I don't know. It's only four. This is plus four damage. This is times three damage, basically. So I think we're going to go for the gift that keeps on giving. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, we've like never taken the um, confused, the cursed mask, the confusion mask in like the longest time. It's been a very long time since we've taken it. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. But um, oh, yeah, I forgot that we also have the uh, gift that keeps on giving. So this actually works out even better because uh, if I take in the other item, I would not be getting a bunch of extra damage on all the pegs via the gift that keeps on giving. So that totally works out beautifully. Wow, magnificent. Okay, we have so much money. We don't really have to worry about money at this point. I think we're totally set. We will probably go to shop so we can at least get one of those. Let's definitely go for this little number and dance because I'll probably get more more uh, damage this way, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to get more damage this way. Also, the gift that keeps on giving does... Uh, um, synergize with the Crystalmos fleece so i think it works out wonderfully let's go ahead and go right here so we can get the shop i don't think we need to get two shops i think i'm just gonna get one um if i can if i can't well then life goes on then we just you know do the thing do the thing but if we can though i'll definitely take it let's go ahead and go right through here and see if we can kind of uh oh that was horrible went straight down i'm gonna cry a little bit cry in absolute glory because we murderize that fool um let's go right here nice i don't know how we did that so smoothly but we did um we definitely grab all of this however the basic blade actually does work against us so we just won't grab that 
Let's gonna grab the Axe Me Anything, Grabby Hand. Actually kind of does work because we have to fight flying enemies. It goes straight across the board. So it's kind of like moderately beneficial and ambidextrous. is kind of cool, sure. Like I said, this one works against us. So we just won't take it. Um, I might want to try grabbing like the fireball at some point because that might be kind of cool. Let's go left here and then we'll determine where we want to go from there. I'm not really too worried, too concerned about any anything or any anything at all. Uh, duplicate orb. Nice. We can get this back. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're going to let it do its thing. Wherever it wants to go, I'm just going to try to launch it as straight in the middle as I can. Left it was. Okay. Like I said, I'm not really don't really care too much about grabbing um all the items in the world it doesn't really matter too much to me i think we're totally fine let's gonna just keep snagging stuff i would like to get the duplication potion i think the duplication potion would be really really awesome here uh we just just with our current build it's kind of working out really nicely so i think it would just be you know stellar pretty stellar to do that we're gonna get hit a couple times here which is okay Wow, he got the 20 blind before he did his animations. I'm glad they fixed that though, because that was a problem in the past where he would do his animations like instantly. And uh, yeah, that was just kind of wasn't cool. <laughs> that just kind of wasn't cool. He did also just miss an attack. So that's also really cool. We did also not do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, can we like chill please? I, I have to go for this unfortunately because it's just in a really bad spot, so. The good news is it doesn't really matter because we're kind of getting a lot of damage from from this little guy there we go he's dead that took way too many turns that kind of shows off the uh all well, the problems with this piercing interesting i don't know if i want to do that i think i'm gonna go for the yeah i guess i'll go for the prime rod of frost i guess i it really doesn't matter like i'll be 100 percent honest it really doesn't matter do i want it i guess i'll take it sure why not why not uh, where do we want to go? I think we go far left so we can get a couple of fights. Can we go far left? We can go far left. There we go. Uh, well, this is scary. It should be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. We should be fine. I mean, I say we should be fine. I mean, I'm not really sure we'll be fine, but I, I imagine we'll be fine. I don't see why not. Uh, did that help us? I think that helped us. How did I not get that bomb? I'm confused. That's okay. Here we go. We're going to go deep left here. Make sure we get a bomb so that guy goes out of my face. Get out of my face. There we go. Perfect. We're basically full HP too, so that works out really nicely. Let's go deep left again. And we're just going to keep going left so we can grab all that stuff. We do have a chance to actually get the, uh, the thing here in the middle. Wow, that's just not really that good. I'm gonna go and skip that because like I said, it's not really that good for us. Um, right now we just kind of happen to get all the crit stuff. So crit, if we're not getting a crit, and if we're not getting multiple crits, we're not really stacking up our damage too, too much. So I think it's definitely worth grabbing a bunch of crit and just, you know, going, uh, going to town with it. Okay, let's go and grab the two guys on the top here. I'm sure we can take them down. Even if we don't get a crit. Okay, that works. That works as well. <laughs> That's not what I expected, but it works. Also, we have tons of money. This is this is a surprising amount of money. Maybe, you know, maybe I stack this build a little bit too much. That is always a possibility. Sometimes you do things a little bit, a little bit more than you intend to, and that might have been this build. Maybe we should have just not had the uh, mental mantle or um, something of the sort. Or maybe just not had the uh, glorious suffering. I mean, honestly, that kind of makes the build a little bit easier at the start, but then it does make it a little bit harder as you progress forwards. So it's kind of a weird combination there. All right, right in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Also, me and my friend um, in our Terraria adventures, you guys are curious or interested to hear how that's going. Um, it's okay. It's really funny, um, but let's start off here, right? So the starting point is... Uh, uh, me and my friend, we are pretty far along. We're almost at the Moon Lord and that territory of things. So we're basically done with this playthrough of Thorium, Thorium mod of things. So that's the good news. That's the good news. Like I said, it's um, it's great. The bad, the, the funny thing is, or I don't know if it's bad news or what, what you want to call it exactly, but um, it's really, it's really funny. My friend, he is, he's, he's kind of the worst in many ways. Um. So the other day, 
he, he kind of gets like stuck in these things of, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do and stuff like that. Really funny. Really funny how that works. Oh, this actually works really nicely. I'm going to grab a short stack. So it's really funny how that works. And so because he, he gets in those ways, um, he does some interesting things. Oh, yes. Enter the passageway. Hopefully we go to the far. Yeah, we did. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Double item. Well done, steak. And but up, but up, but What is this? Special button? Oh my goodness. Okay. I will take it. Anyway, so he gets in this mood of like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Blah, blah, blah. So on and so forth. Well, really, really funny how this all pans out. Um, so the other day, I was like, okay, I got to go to the dentist so that you know I can get my teeth checked up on and whatnot. And I told my friend, I was like, hey, you know, I'm going to be out because, you know, we go to the dentist. And I gave him a list of things to do that he could be doing while I was gone so that uh, we can make progress. He asked me what to do like 10 times, like 10 times. And I was like, I was like, bro, bro, you can just do this. And then I, I said it like really simple, like just the key words. I was like, you can do this, this, and this. And uh, he was like, what? <laughs> he just kept asking me over and over. And I was like, oh God, this is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know, that's just, uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. Really funny. Uh, it totally panned out though. I mean, it works out at the end of the day. Wow. 3000 damage. Is that enough to kill? Bottom row toast. Nice. That was really good. I want to see if I can kill one of these guys with uh, Nosferatu. I'm just curious. There you go. Yeet it up there. There's a crits, crit skis. I don't think I'll be able to. I just don't see myself doing enough damage with it to like really make it work. But hey, you know, you never know. Yeah, no, we didn't. We didn't have enough damage. That's fine. Where's the most crits? I think this one's going to have the most possible crits. So we're going to kind of yeet it in there. No, no. Yes, we got at least a crit. That works. Not enough damage to kill them all, but hey, it's something. We're going to skip that orb because it's not going to be enough damage. Plus, if we do that, we actually get our way around to here, which kind of works out nicely. We're going to eat it in here because if we can, crits. There are lots of crit possibilities. Nothing of the sort, though. I'm crying a little bit. Crying a little bit on the inside. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Do your thing. Okay. Uh, we'll just skip once here and we'll just eat this and hope that it gets a refresh or something Honestly, it's really hard to see everything here. They're kind of moving quickly real quickly right now. Let's get this refresh and that crit there Because I think that'll be a nice little combo. There we go And this should be toast Reno cappuccino. He's definitely dead Bada bing bada boom. If you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a comment and subscribe Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out everybody and adios